Hey guys, Model Train Time and Toys back here with another video. Today is going to be a layout update. As you can see, I've turned the tables around 90 degrees, and that is to allow greater access of uh, the underneath of them. Which you can see, I have stuff stored under there. We have my G scale trains, which I will be doing a review on. We have around the back here, we have our N, our N scale trains. I'll just turn the light on so you guys can see it. So we have our G scale and N scale trains. We have our HR scale DC trains, which I will be doing um, the $50 train, train set challenge video. I did that at the convention, um, but I'm having problems with the locomotive and I will be either getting it fixed or selling it because I do have another locomotive that's coming with some cars that was ten dollars so I'll probably end up um, showing the locomotive I got and then um, probably showing the new well it's not new it's used but I'll show you the other locomotive I'll be probably running um, for the fifty dollar train train set would actually then be forty dollars because I paid twenty five dollars for the other engine and I'm going to use the engine that cost five dollars which uh you guys will see pretty soon um and I'll be cleaning off the track as well um because I need to the the track is not clean which kinda sucks but um yeah, so as you can see, we have some glue over here, and I am going to be um, making some kits. Uh, I started last night working on an engine shed, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. And yeah, so here it is. This is unfinished. I I'm going to paint this. This is as it said, unfinished. I need to stick the door back on and the two main doors, and I'm considering either. Cutting, cutting windows and just adding tape uh, to simulate glass, uh, but I'm not sure about that yet. Again, I still have to paint it, uh, but it does fit my uh, diesel engine, which you guys will see in an upcoming video. I am behind a little bit on a review of something about the train, train show. You guys probably already know it's the Volkswagen car carrier set. I haven't reviewed that, but I'm going to review it pretty soon. Um, I'll probably shoot the video tomorrow. It'll be published maybe on Thursday. Um, and also, I have another engine coming. I have a 080 engine. It's basically a lot like my smaller engine in the back. But this engine has... Um, Again, one more set of driving wheels, uh, so that would be interesting. I believe it does have a Delta chip in it, or a DC decoder chip, uh, depending on what year it was made. So that would be pretty interesting. I got that engine for $25 with like uh, $5 shipping, so the whole thing cost me about $32.20. Um, like I said, the low engine back there cost me $33, so they're around the same price. Um, and that, uh, the 8080 engine, that one is supposed to retail for around $70, um, to about 100 I've seen ones from a German marketplace that go for 58 with $8 shipping, and so, yeah, that's my mom calling to my cat was screaming down the basement. Uh, I don't know why. I think she's sick or something. I'm going to go cover her up after I finish this. But yeah, um, as you guys can see, we can have a look in the Markland train bin. Uh, there's the box for the 6L locomotive. And again, another review that I have to do uh, for the tanker car. And, yeah, I'll be probably doing another 
track layout um, that we use for the review of the diesel engine. Um, and you guys will also see the tanker car on that layout. And just heads up, I am changing the name of the channel in two months, um, one to two months, uh, depending, depending on how much time I have left, I have to wait to get a name change from YouTube, um, because they only allow 3 and 90 days, and I changed this thing twice, <laughs> and I changed it once before. So I kind of used that up, which kind of sucks, but I'll just wait another month because I will be doing toy videos, um, but then they're going to be more like kid focused of, okay, why should you buy this set? Um, so like how, how it compares to HO trains or whether you'd want to run it with like G-scale trains, depending if like this says Playmobil or something like that. And also um, combining my Markland trains uh, because I do have um, a bunch of Hot Wheels track and I have two different sets of toys that I can basically use, the building toys. Um, Fisher Price Trio and Fisher Price Constructs. I'll probably be doing a a comparison between the two, um, obviously they're both discontinued products, um, but I will be trying to uh, make massive bridges for the trains um, and the cars, and so they'll work with it, so that's why I'm adding, adding in toys, because it's, it's going to have toys in it, I mean, these things are hobby grade, but they also are kind of, are kind of like um, semi-really expensive toys, like Lego sets. I mean, that's like from buying like a $15 set, you buy a train car. Um, so those videos will be coming out shortly. I will also be doing a video on every train running um, at the same time. So I'll be doing basically my G-Scale, my Marklin, and my Kato N-Scale, and maybe my DC HO scale. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get the track clean and if... The track clean suggestion works, because if it doesn't work, I mean, obviously I can't run the DC, and and we'll just have to see um, if I can get my DC track running. I'll also be doing a video on AC versus DC. Uh, I'll also be doing a comparison video on N scale versus G scale, and um, sort of showing it's like the biggest engine I have versus like this little tiny CSX engine, which ends scale, so that'll be, um, hopefully an enjoyable video for you guys. Um, so that about wraps it up for this video, I hope you guys enjoy, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, what do you guys want to see next, do you guys want to see um, another, a comparison video, do you guys want to see me building a kit or finishing the, the, uh, engine house, um, or do you guys want to see the every train running video? Let me know down in the comments below, and thank you all for enjoying my video.